Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today we're going to be talking about some paranormal romance recommendations. It is October. It is paranormal romance season, okay? Everyone is in the mood for paranormal romances, and I am here to deliver. Um, if you want another recommendation video for paranormal romances, I already have a part one. I'll link it down below. Um, so if you want more, paranormal romances you can go check out that previous video and I have 10 more recommendations for you today so let's get started first one that I have I don't really know how to categorize it because I feel like it's fantasy romance and it's also paranormal because part of this book Dex does take place in our world and it does have paranormal creatures in it so the first one that I have is A Fate of Rapid Flame by K.A. Tucker our main character Romeria lives on earth like she's a normal human woman but she is I think a jewel thief if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, a jewel thief and she ends up getting roped into this mysterious woman's life and she doesn't really know what she's getting into at all with her and then one day said woman ends up transporting Romeria's, Romeria into the body of her doppelganger in a fantasy realm. <laughs> it's so unique. This book had my jaw dropping at points because there are paranormal creatures and aspects of this book that I was not expecting like at all. I do want to continue on with the series. I think all three books are currently out. Um, I don't know how many books are going to be in the series, um, but there's three books out. I've only read this one. This is just a fun read. Definitely one to read during October or the fall season. They gave me like fall vibes. I forgot to mention too, when Romeria is put in her doppelganger's body in this fantasy realm, she doesn't know what she's getting into. She doesn't really know what's going on. She can't really tell anyone like, I am not this lands Romeria. <laughs> um, I don't know who you are. I don't know what this Romeria did because apparently she betrayed this land of people and she is being held prisoner because of it. Um, she's like, I didn't do nothing. <laughs> um, so she's trying to learn about this world and this kingdom that she's now a part of. So yeah, there's a lot going into this one, but there are quite a few paranormal creatures in here. One of my favorites from last year was Blood Moon by Jillian Graves. This is the exclusive special edition from Faded Romance Book Box. Um, I adore the original cover as well. I need to get that one. But anyway, this is a little novella, but I think it packs a really good punch for how small it is. This is about Hazel, who is a witch. So there's that paranormal aspect for you. <laughs> um, she's a witch and she owns this paranormal creature, monster creature bar, but she's finding out that she's losing business to the new like club across the street who caters to the same audience. One night she's very frustrated when she goes to her friend's party and she ends up having the most amazing night with this vampire she meets named Vlad. Like who? It is a grand old time with him. But then uh, things get a little bit messy when she realizes that said guy is the manager of her competing, the business who's competing against her. And he's just like, I don't care. Like, I'm really into you. Let's see where this goes. And she's just like, no, I can't do that. That'd be going against my morals. I can't be with the enemy. Not happening. So it is a witch vampire romance. And Grumpy Sunshine, but the heroine is the grump and the hero is the sunshine. And Fantastic read. If you want a good, fun old, hot read during October, look no further. Next, I have Yearning for Her by Tiffany Roberts. This is about Willow, who at the beginning of this book is dating this guy, but she finds out like how awful he is and dumps him. And her heart's kind of broken because of this whole situation. And she runs into her hero here named Kian that night and has a one night thing with him to blow off some steam and to get some of her frustrations out. And he's like, Gladly. Come on, let's go. When Willow wakes up in the morning though, she like sneaks out because she doesn't want to do like the morning after dance, you know what I mean? Um, but she has no clue that Kian is in Incubus <laughs> and he is absolutely like gobsmacked uh, of her, about her and what happened to them the night before because he's an Incubus. He feeds off of others' pleasure and desire and he has to feed quite often in order to satiate his hunger. But one night with Willow left him like feeling completely full for like over a week. But then things get a little bit more complicated because she didn't like leave him her name, her full name, her phone number after that night. He can't find her. And he realizes he can't feed off of anyone else now. Like not knowing, like, he can't, he can't do it. Like his body won't let him. So he's like walking the streets as like basically like a husk of a human 
or not even a human, he's not a human, but he's like a husk because <laughs> he can't feed off of anybody. He's like dying, but then things work out. It's fine. So um, you have like a golden retriever of a guy, like he is totally sucked in with Willow and Willow's a little bit more hesitant because of some of the things she's experienced with men. So um, I really did enjoy this one. Um, If you want a more like unique one, I definitely recommend it because you don't really read about Incubus romances. Next, I have a series actually. I've only read two books in the series, but this is the Monstrous Matches series by Lillian Lark. Um, I'm only going to talk about the first two because I've read those. So first is Stalked by the Kraken. This is about Gideon and Rose. Rose is a witch that works at like a paranormal creature matchmaking facility where she's able to match up paranormal lore creatures uh, to be with like their best match ever. Gideon is a Kraken shifter who walks into her establishment one day and really wants to be set up and to find his mate. And Rose is like, by all means, like I will try and find her for you. And he's like, oh no, 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 I already know that you are her. So uh, let's do this thing. <laughs> At first she's a little bit hesitant. So he backs off and is like, okay, I'll commit to like a, a shorter arrangement with you. Um, but in actuality, he's like full on already ready for this woman to be his, but he'll take whatever he can get. Um, and that's all I wanna leave you with. This was such a hot, cute, fun read. Um, again, you don't really read about crack and shifters, especially in a contemporary like setting. You sometimes read about them in like sci-fi books. So then the other book in the series is Deceived by the Gargoyle. So our heroine in this one ends up going to the matchmaker woman from book one and is like, I want you to find my mate. And she ends up finding a guy who she really gets along with and she's having a great old time with and she's seeing something there. But, but then he completely like blows her mind when he tells her that he has two other mates and they want her to join their family. So the hero of this book that I already talked about He's actually a gargoyle. He's been meeting the heroine with a human glamour on, um, but he's actually a gargoyle and his two other mates are also gargoyles. Um, and the four of them have a family together, possibly. <laughs> um, again, another fun read. I really enjoy the Lean Lark's writing style and I want to read more in this series soon. Since we're on the topic of series, another series that I have to recommend to you is actually a series of novellas. And I think they're perfect for the Halloween season. This is the Tombstone University miniseries by K.L. Mann. The first one, um, Death or Dare, actually does take place during Halloween, so I'm just going to be talking about that one. However, the other two in this series, um, the second one takes place during Christmas, and the other one, the third one, takes place during, I think, New Year's, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so all of them take place, like, around the same, like, time, so you can, like, read them throughout the rest of the year if you want to, but they're very short, quick, hot, um, paranormal reads. So the one that I'm going to talk about is Dare or Death, because this is the one that does take place on Halloween. So our heroine in here is the shy kind of bookworm girl in college, and she kind of gets roped into playing a game of truth or dare during this Halloween party. Little does she know though, it's not actually like truth or dare, it's dare or death, where someone in the group ends up summoning a demon and if you don't do the dare that the demon tells you to, you get, you know, <laughs> um, so she doesn't really know what she's getting herself into. And uh, this is her romance with said demon that they summoned and another person. So it's actually MMF. So a fun read. It gave me the Halloween vibes for sure. So if you're wanting a quick novella to read, look no further. If you want shorter paranormal reads, I have two books by Layla Faye to mention. First is Draco, which is a dragon shifter romance. Um, our hero in here is actually like, <laughs> Layla said in the author's note that she was inspired by Gordon Ramsay. So this character reads very much like Gordon Ramsay, but he's a dragon shifter. And yeah, he owns this uh, restaurant and our heroine in here has the worst luck in the entire world. She doesn't know it yet, but she actually has a curse on her to to have the worst luck possible. She thinks her luck has changed when she gets hired at this guy's restaurant to work in the kitchen. She has no idea though that Draco is a dragon shifter and he actually needs her help in more ways than one that don't include uh, being in the kitchen with him. <laughs> like he needs help producing a special product for the restaurant and only she can help him. Like Layla Faye's books like make me cackle so much and this book definitely did that. Another one is Crow, which is a like, I don't really know how to describe it. Cause he's like a crow shifter. He's a fae, but he's from a fae realm, but he had 
a curse put on him when he traveled to like our world and he is like cursed to be a crow but he can like shift into a humanoid form. He ends up becoming enchanted by a woman named Victoria one day and kind of watches her from a distance ever since that point. But then one day he sees that she's in trouble and he decides to save her and her eyes are completely opened to a new world. He's full on expecting her to be terrified of him but instead she is very much intrigued. So another fun, wild, but super entertaining Layla Faye book. <laughs> a tried and true novella one for me is A Shift Just Got Real by Ruby Dixon. This is part of her Shift series collection. I'll have the link down below to the bind up. It's on Kindle Unlimited, um, but I only really like this novella, a part of that series. So you can like, you can read all the other ones by all means, but I only think this one is worth it in that series. Um, this is a bear shifter romance. So all the other books in the series are bear shifter romances. Yes, Ruby has bear shifter romances. So if you want to read a whole series about bear shifters, look it up further. But um, I only really loved this one. This one is an age gap romance, our hero in here. Um, he is like a burly gruff mountain man who's also a bear shifter. He lives in a town where there are other bear shifters. That's where the whole series takes place in. He ends up sending his mate one day at the grocery store and is trying to find her and finds out that it is uh, a young girl, not young girl. She's She's a young girl. She's in her teens. She's in her teens. Um, it's a teenager girl in the grocery store and he's mortified. He's like, she's underage, not happening. No, he ends up going into the mountains and becoming a complete recluse even more than he was before. Rarely going into town because of that, um, because he does not want to be tempted. Like he's like, no, 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 I might have found my mate. That is my mate, but she's too young, like not happening. It jumps years later when our heroine is grown up. I think she's about 21 and she's actually been having a little crush on our hero. Uh, and he's actually been secretly like keeping an eye on her, a little stalkerish <laughs> keeping an eye on her um, until one day he gets injured by her house and she welcomes him in to patch him up and sparks fly between the two. <laughs> um, but I don't really read a lot of bear shifter romances so I thought I would include this one. And the last one that I have is A Lady of Rook's Grave Manor by Catherine Moon. I personally am not the biggest fan of this one but I know that everyone besides myself like loves it so I'm going to recommend it for other people who want to check it out. Um, I personally just don't love RH books or why choose romances and that's what this book is um, but I know that there are other people out there who are not like me so I do want to recommend something that other people would love. This is about uh, I think her name's Esther who ends up working at this house where women work and have uh, men they are in relationships with like multiple men and they are paranormal men so her men in here like one's like a stone man one's uh, invisible one's a vampire, one's like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, one's like a Sphinx dude. So a bunch of paranormal creatures, a bunch of paranormal things going on in here. Um, it's like her relationship with all these guys. And there's also like a big bad in the book as well. Um, so if you like Why Choose Romances and you haven't read this one yet, I really recommend picking this one up. You might really like it. Anyways, there you have it. Those were some paranormal romance recommendations for you for the October season. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me the, um, what emoji are we going to do? We're going to do the bear emoji <laughs> in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.